Hello and welcome. I'm Arielle with Athens Services, your local waste and recycling company. Today we're going to dive in headfirst to all things waste related and talk some trash. With the new state law, Senate Bill 1383, organics recycling is mandatory for all Californians, from businesses to residents. Why is that, you may ask? Well, it turns out that when food ends up in landfills, it creates methane, a potent greenhouse gas pollutant. Actually, a lot. It accounts for 20% of California's methane emissions. And then you have the staggering fact that 18% of what is sent to landfills is just food. So, what does this mean for your business? Well, you must start separating into your Athens provided green bin all of your organics waste, including food scraps, food soil paper, and landscaping waste. Things like vegetable cuttings and moldy bread will be turned into compost. Or energy, which supports healthy soils, plants, and air quality. That compost may be used to grow the fruits and vegetables you serve tomorrow. We understand that restaurants are a busy environment with many moving parts. Corner! Okay, or maybe we don't. This training is a flexible framework for your restaurant's organics program that can be tailored to your needs. Now, let's get cooking. First, let's talk about how to set up a functional waste collection system for your back of house operations. Here, we have a waste area, or what we call a resource recovery station. This consists of containers for organics waste, recycling, and trash. These stations are super important as they help reduce the chance of contamination. Contamination occurs whenever organics or recycling is placed in the wrong container or bin. First, you will want to color code your containers so they match the corresponding Athens bin located outside. Don't have different colored containers? consider painting them. Ideally, you would use green for organics, blue for recycling, and black for trash. When it comes to liners, the organics waste must always be in a clear bag. If placed in a non-clear bag like these, the organics will be considered contaminated and sent to a landfill. It is also ideal to use a clear bag for recycling and a black bag for trash. By using clear bags, this makes it easier for your employees to identify contamination and place the bag into the correct Athens bin. Finally, hang signage on or around each container. Athens Services can provide your restaurant with free signage. If you want to create your own, we recommend laminating the signage to keep them clean and protected. By hanging your signage with Velcro dots, it makes for easy removal when cleaning containers and walls. Printable signage is available for download from athenservices.com slash outreach. Now that your resource recovery station has three color-coded containers, the correct liners, and signage, it's complete. Try to keep all three containers close together. If they are separated, employees are more likely to throw their waste away in whatever container is closest. Having all three together makes sorting waste easy and reduces contamination. Now that we have our containers set up, let's see what goes into each one. What do I do with this? You can put all your food scraps into the green organics container. This includes fruit and veggie scraps, cooked meat, fish, and bones, as well as any prepared, uneaten food and 100% fiber-based food soiled paper products. If you have raw meat or fats, oil, and grease, you are still required to follow state regulations for packing house waste disposal. Check with your local health department for more information. What do I do with this? Empty bottles, metal cans, condiment jugs and buckets, aluminum, and canned and glass beverage bottles can all go in the blue recycling container. And that's why having a recycling container close by is so important. Good job. Remember to make sure the recyclables are empty. What do I do with this? All flimsy plastics like heat sealed bags, cling wraps, and plastic bags can go in the trash. 
Waxy cardboard, food stickers, twist ties, rubber bands, foam, straws, and receipts also go in the trash. Also, face masks, hair nets, and latex gloves go in the trash. Now that you've learned how to sort your items, let's talk about other areas in the kitchen where you can place additional containers. There are three locations where we recommend putting an additional organics container in your restaurant. First, the prep line. Most food scraps come from the prep station, so there should always be an organics container nearby. Second, the cook line. On the cook line, chefs should have access to an organics container so they can toss out any food that isn't suitable for serving. The third location is the busing station. When it comes time to bus the tables, bussers and servers can take any food scraps or leftovers and place them in the organics container. Be sure to remove any recyclables or landfill waste and put them in the correct container as well. When you're done stocking the shelves with new inventory, a good practice is to immediately break down cardboard boxes. Breaking down boxes frees up space for more recyclables in your bin. A smaller trash container is sometimes necessary in the expo area, dishwashing area, and restrooms. Receipt paper for food tickets and latex gloves are neither recyclable nor compostable and should be thrown in the trash. When it comes to restrooms, there should be no organics or recycling containers. All restroom waste should be thrown into the trash, including bathroom paper towels in case of biosolid contamination. Your restaurant is like a hard-working machine with many moving parts. All employees play an important role in maintaining a successful organics recycling program. Let's recap some key roles and responsibilities. When preparing and making food, all food scraps should go in the green containers. When clearing tables, waiters and bussers should put all excess food or food soiled napkins into the designated green container. Be sure to separate all trash into the black container. Resource recovery stations play a critical role in properly separating your organics recycling and trash. It is important to use a color coding system, place signage on all containers, and use clear liners for organics and recycling. Helping your team understand their roles will assist in creating an efficient waste collection system. Remember though, you don't have to restructure your entire operations in order to have a successful organics and recycling program. Feel free to adjust as you go until you find the best system that works for your team. I said no organics container in the restroom! Athens is here to educate your staff and set up your business for success. If you need additional help, you can request a free training from an Athens Recycling Coordinator. We know you can establish a successful organics recycling program that works in your busy restaurant to help reduce the amount of food sent to landfills. Oh, looks like the lunch rush is starting up. I gotta go.